I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, but I am God's dirt. And uh, when I was young, when I was a child, my mother used to take me and my brothers to church. And being a, a devout Christian woman, she faithfully took us to church every Sunday, Sunday school, Sunday night, Wednesday worship services, and and she took all she took all three of her boys to church until we all got old enough, somewhere in our teens, where we just told her we didn't really want to go to church anymore. But the seeds, the seeds they had been sowed. Now, uh, in 2013, we were, we were invited to a little small rural Assembly of God Church in uh, Western Arkansas. And uh, at first I thought, oh, it'll be okay, I'll, I'll kind of do like my dad did, I'll sit in the back pew and toss in some change in the offering plate and nobody will notice me back there but God saw me God saw me God took notice God dealt with my heart so I went to the altar I gave my heart to the Lord now I started seeing other people doing work for the church work for the Lord they were mowing the lawns and and they were cleaning the church and cleaning the bathrooms and and I thought the Lord put it in my heart to do some kind of a work and uh, back then I I did I had some knee problems but I mean there was some things that I couldn't do but there was a lot of things I could do and so uh, I was wondering what I could do so I prayed a prayer just a little simple prayer I know you've heard it before I've mentioned it before and the prayer goes something like this Lord make me the clay on the potter's wheel shape me fashion me for me into, into any any shape that's pleasing to you Lord and all I ask is that you fill my cup to overflowing with your spirit I didn't think much of that little simple prayer but God thought a lot of it and all of a sudden I started getting dreams I mean tons of dreams I was getting four five six seven dreams a week I was getting two and three dreams sometimes in a, in a single night I would get two and three different dreams and uh, I was getting dream overload I just but now that I look back at it it's almost like all this all this was being downloaded into me and I, I saw I saw a lot of I saw a lot of bad things a lot of a lot of horrific things I saw and I didn't I didn't know why I didn't know why and I started praying Lord why are you showing me all this why why and then finally the Holy Spirit revealed it to me that I was to start writing and so he had me write several books he had me build a website he had me do YouTube videos and I have done all this I have done all this because the Holy Spirit directed me to do this and I remain faithful and true so trying to keep these videos short I will close now I want you to know that we love you all so very much, so very much, and we pray for all of you. And you all, every one of you, have been a gift from God to us. And so we love you so very much, and we keep all of you in our prayers. God bless you. God keep you in your safe, in his loving arms, just like he held me. Just like he held me. Because there's no safer place to be. And the way this world is getting, the way this world is getting, rapture so soon so soon pray without ceasing and be looking up for your redemption drop nine
God bless you. God keep you and you're safe. Amen.